All right, it's the Jersey Jaguar, back at you with another video. And today I'm gonna to tackle a question that I've been getting asked a lot about, and that's how to get rid of Sharpie and signatures out of jerseys. Now guys, it is a time consuming process. It's not that difficult, but it will take some effort. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break this video up into two different parts. The first part is going to be all the different products that I tested out. And the second part of the video is gonna be how to do the actual removing on the Sharpie. And I'm doing it this way because pretty much the process is all the same, regardless of the product that you use. Let's get to it. All right, we're at the first part of the video and that is going over the preparation and products. Now guys, I will start by saying this, follow this golden rule and that is always test your jerseys before using any product. And what do I mean by that? Find a unnoticeable part of your jersey and test the product regardless if you have used that product before on other jerseys. You always wanna be safe. You don't wanna make an accident and have a destroyed jersey. So guys, where we're gonna do this is we're gonna rank the products starting with the least useful working in our way all the way up to the ones that I found the most useful. Now guys, what I did is I used a few different materials, right? All lighter shades, and we used the marker. I let it sit there for a couple of days to use as a test subject because I didn't want to mark up any of my jerseys, obviously. So guys, with that said, we're going to get started with the first product. And the first product is Carbana ink marker and crayon remover. Now guys, what I did is I let this sit in overnight, uh, used hot water, did everything to the book. It still really did nothing at all. It, it had a little effect, but didn't do anything. I mean, if you wanna use this in combination with another product, you could try it out. But besides that, it wasn't that useful. All right, guys, one thing I forgot to mention is that I'll post links in the description with these different products uh, that I used in case you wanna buy them and try them out yourself. So the next product that we have is Miracle GP66. You know, this one was about the same level of effectiveness as the next one I'm gonna go over. This one worked a little bit more rapidly. It comes in a spray bottle, as you can see. You let it sit in there for a little bit and you go to work on it. Now, however, guys, I will say this. If you have a fresh Sharpie or semi-fresh, all right, um, you have to be careful when you spray or put anything on there because it can bleed. And if you let it bleed and stay in there, it can now stay in the jersey and then now you have another headache on your hands, all right? So again, GP66 was all right but I had to do a lot of work with it and it really didn't get the job done in the amount of time that I wanted it to. All right, moving along, we have Amadex Ink and Stain Remover. You know, this one wasn't bad. It comes in a little tiny bottle, as you can see. And what I like about the bottle is it's small enough and pony enough to where you could actually trace out over the signature. And that's what I did. I left it overnight. The next morning, I used hot water and a toothbrush and it came out a decent amount. Now, was it the best on the list? No, but it still did a little bit better than the ones I mentioned. Now, guys, I will say this. For any of these products you use, wear rubber gloves. And for the ones going forward, um, in this video, I recommend wear a face mask and rubber gloves because they are very strong inhalants, all right? All right, and now we're going to start off with the harsher and stronger chemicals. Now, guys, I cannot stress enough to use a respirator or a face mask of some type along with rubber gloves and always follow the safety precautions on the packaging. So guys, VLR is strong. It is primarily used for removing vinyl. Um, in addition, you can remove adhesive with it. So guys, when you use VLR, be advised that it will bleed. So I recommend dipping it into some kind of dish or container of VLR opposed to pouring it straight on there. All right, next we have acetone. And again, it's pure acetone, professional strength. You could get it at Walmart for three bucks or so. Guys, it's also strong. So again, respirator and gloves, um, it will cause bleeding again. You know, it works a little bit better than VLR, but just keep in mind that it will cause bleeding. So again, remember, try dipping opposed to pouring it on there. All right, and next we have 91% rubbing alcohol. Now guys, you can find this pretty much anywhere and for cheap. Uh, I like it better than the other products so far because it is just about as effective, if not slightly more effective, and it is not as harsh. Um, Guys, again, it will cause bleeding, so we'll take it off right away as soon as you can. And just like VLR and acetone, it evaporates extremely quick. So keep that in mind, you gotta work fast. Again, try to dip, opposed to pouring it on there, you'll have better effects. And now we're gonna have the A category products, starting off with Crud Cut.
Carter graffiti remover. Yep, it's made for graffiti, but I had success with it with Sharpie guys. It causes very little bleeding. It is thicker than the other products. So you could keep scrubbing it and that bleeding is gonna go away. So far, I found it to be the easiest to use and roughly I got the Sharpie off within three to five tries. All right, and the final product of the video is Goof Off Pro Strength Graffiti Remover. So as you guys can see, graffiti removers work pretty well with Sharpie. Are there better ones out there? There might be, however, I like these two ones. So guys, this stuff is effective, but it is extremely strong. I used it outside, let it sit for a minute or two, brought it inside. I was afraid that something was gonna light the stove and the roof was gonna blow off the freaking house. So I rushed down to the bathroom, it stunk up the bathroom, I used it, but you know what? It was effective. It took about a try less than the crud cutter. So that, that, that tells you right there that this is probably the product that is the quickest to use. All right, so with all that said, which is my product of choice? At the end of the day, I think I will go with the crud cutter graffiti remover over the Goof Off Pro Strength graffiti remover. Just due to convenience, yeah, the Goof Off is a slight bit stronger than a slight bit faster, however, Having to go outside, come back inside, work quick, then having my workspace smell for a couple hours just isn't worth the effectiveness. Now, if there's some stubborn situations where the crud cutter is no longer working, I'll call in the cavalry and I'll use that goof off. But at the end of the day, if I had to choose one to stick with, it will be the crud cutter graffiti remover. So this is gonna be the test material that I'm using for the video. It's standard hockey air net material and I used some random signature that I created in my head. Now guys, I also tried this process on football mesh, standard athletic mesh and dazzle material. All had the similar results, uh, guys. All of them I used are light colors just so you can see that there's no like what if because I used a dark color. All right, so with that said, let's get started with the first step. Okay guys, so I'm outside now. I have a piece of paper towels underneath the test subject. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use this Goof Off Pro Strength Graffiti Remover. All right, I'm just gonna spray it on there, like so. And you could already start to see slightly that the Sharpie's coming out of the material. So I'm doing this outside again because it is really strong stuff and it stinks up the house a little bit more. I had the paper towel under just so it doesn't bleed into whatever I'm working on. Now guys, I highly recommend when you do this, use a paper towel or a regular towel, if you don't care about the towel, underneath your jersey uh, between layers so you don't damage the other side of the jersey, all right? I'm gonna let this sit there for a minute and then we're gonna bring it back inside and we are going to start the next step. Guys, also please don't forget to read the instructions on the back in terms of uh, safety and precautions always follow what it says from a safety standpoint okay i recommend gloves and a respirator or a mask again okay guys so i'm outside now i have a piece of paper towels underneath the test subject and what i'm going to do i'm going to use this goof off pro strength graffiti remover all right i'm just going to spray it on there like so and you could already start to see slightly that the Sharpie's coming out of the material. So I'm doing this outside again because it is really strong stuff and it stinks up the house a little bit more. I had the paper towel under just so it doesn't bleed into whatever I'm working on. Now guys, I highly recommend when you do this, use a paper towel or a regular towel, if you don't care about the towel, underneath your jersey uh, between layers so you don't damage the other side of the jersey, all right? I'm gonna let this sit there for a minute and then we're gonna bring it back inside and we are going to start the next step. Guys, also, please don't forget to read the instructions on the back in terms of uh, safety and precautions. Always follow what it says from a safety standpoint, okay? I recommend gloves and a respirator or a mask, again. Okay guys, so I got the hot water going. <clears throat> I'm gonna to start to rub it out. Right away, we can see it's lighter. I'm using hot water, but guys, again, test the jersey to make sure that it can handle hot water. The harder the water, the more likely it is to come out. So ready, we got somewhat of success right there. What I'm going to do now, guys, is I am going to spray it 
spray a little bit more. This time I'm gonna do it inside. Guys, do not let it sit on the sink. It, it will bleed through into your sink. And once it, gets in, once it gets into that sink, it's extremely hard to get out. All right, so there we go. And again, I'm gonna scrub. I'm scrubbing both sides. So guys, obviously scrub one side at a time. Um, you wanna make sure that the Sharpie is fully out and scrub anywhere that I was bleeding into as well. All right, look at that. Look at that, ready significantly different. And this is on white too, all right? So guys, what I recommend too also, before you go onto the drying process, use some kind of detergent or soap to get out the chemicals because it is strong. I'm gonna spray some oxy. You can use whatever detergent or cleaning product that you want. Um, you could even use dish soap. That works really well to get out um, chemicals and such. So look at that already. All right, guys. So here is where we're at. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to let it dry. And you have to let it fully dry uh, before reapplying the chemical otherwise it's just going to stay where it's at with no progress all right guys and this is where we're at so this was just after one time with the chemical now it's even lighter in person but the camera's picking it up a little bit more due to the lighting guys once your jersey is fully dry you're ready to go to the next step now keep in mind after each time you do it it's going to be more safe to let the chemicals sit in there and it's going to bleed less and less each time so guys this is already after one time we're going to go ahead and repeat the process and then we'll see how it looks afterwards All right, and we are finished. So I added the other materials that I tested out. Now this is standard uh, Dazzle Sports material that you'll find like on the shoulders of older football jerseys, as well as the early 2000s basketball jerseys. And for example, the Washington Capitals on their Capitol building jersey, they used copper Dazzle material on one of the layers of twill. And then we have standard sports mesh, and then we have the air in the test subject that we used in the video. And as you can see, it is completely gone after four tries. And guys, realistically, after three tries, it would have been acceptable and it would have been good to uh, wear. However, when you look at it at a certain light, you see very, very faint image of that signature. But with four tries, it came out fully and completely. This only took about two tries with the uh, Krug cutter. This one took about three tries with the cut cutter and again, three to four tries with the Goof Off Pro on the white air knit material. Well, and it looks like that we found the towel now for your headache. That Sharpie is now gone. You guys know how to do it. Your jersey game just went up a couple notches. Guys, if you have any questions at all whatsoever, don't hesitate to ask. And also, if there's any other videos that you'd like to see me do in the future, I'll do my best to get them done. If you found this video helpful, I'd appreciate a like and a subscribe. And I'll see you at the next one.